Good morning, good morning everybody. Dylan K. Johnson here. Welcome back to a new video. Now, today is gonna to be a pretty quick one. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I like to open up a barbell shipping tube. There's a lot of different ways out there. Some of them involve sawing the end of it off. Um, if you follow the instructions specifically on this Rogue shipping tube that they have on the other end, they tell you to peel the end of it, similar to like a croissant, uh, whatever you get from the store, like the croissant rolls. Um, the muffin rolls that you just kind of peel the um, whole roll off until it pops and explodes and scares everybody. But no, what I like to do is I like to keep this shipping tube intact as much as possible, primarily because I know that in the future, probably in the next year or two, we're gonna be looking to uh, move and that's gonna involve moving our entire gym. So when that comes, it's gonna be nice to have these shipping tubes so that I'm able to just throw the bars back into them. I know that they're gonna be safe and protected in the back of a moving van, in the back of a truck, wherever we put them when we move from this gym to the new location. So that's mainly why I try to keep these intact as much as possible and why I'm actually gonna be saving this tube once I get the bar out of it. But without rambling too much further, let's get into the tools you're going to need for this. First off, a flathead screwdriver, something that's nice and sturdy because we're gonna be using it to pry out some staples. Second, and this sometimes you don't need, but more than likely you will, is just a basic hammer. Now once you have your tools and your bar ready to go, what we're gonna do is we're gonna inspect each end of the tube to figure out which side has the least amount of damage from shipping. If you guys have received a barbell in the past, you'll know that the ends of these tubes can get pretty beat up because UPS or whoever's handling the shipping is not necessarily the most careful with them. They tend to get just tossed around, they get smashed and beat up a lot. So these ends can get caved in, which if they're caved in, it can make it much harder to actually pull the bar out of the tube once you get these metal end caps off. So you wanna figure out which side has the least amount of damage so that it's a lot easier to get the bar out of the tube once it's opened up. Now, once you have that figured out, you're gonna look at the inside lip of this tube. Inside, you're gonna find a bunch of metal staples. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flathead screwdriver and we're basically going to work it into those staples and try and pry them up and get them as straight as possible so that what we can do then is come to the outside of the tube and we're gonna see the flat or the back edge of the staple. From there, we're gonna take our flathead screwdriver again, and this is where the hammer might come in handy, and we're gonna try and work it under those staples so that we're able to basically pry them up and pull them out. Now, this is, like I was saying, where the hammer might come in handy, because sometimes these are pretty far in the cardboard, as you can kind of see as I go through these. Um, they're pretty far in the cardboard, so you have to get the flathead screwdriver on there and just kind of hammer it into the cardboard underneath the staple and then you're able to kind of work that flathead screwdriver in there in order to be able to pry those out. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to do that real quick, show you guys how I do it and then from there we're going to get this bar out. So let's go! staples from the end of this tube. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and pop this metal cap off of this tube so that we're able to actually get the bar out of it. The way I'm going to do this is again just using my trusty flathead screwdriver here. Just kind of work it into the edge and then just kind of carefully try and pry it back and away. You might damage the end of the tube a little bit but it's not going to be too bad. Should come out, should come out just like that. Almost looks like a beat up tin can or something, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna set this aside. And now inside here, we also should have a piece of foam. There you go. Helps protect the bar during shipping. And then we have got the bar itself. And there you have it. All of about five minutes in order to get the end of the tube off. The end is intact, so we're able to reuse this if we need to in the future. Or at this point, you can take the bar out and toss it, whatever you wanna do. But no risk of damaging the bar itself. We didn't take a saw to it and risk sawing into the sleeve of the barbell. 
Just needed a flathead screwdriver. I didn't even need the hammer for this one, and we're able to just pop that right off of there. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If it helped you out in any way, would really appreciate if you could like the video. Definitely helps out, helps show your support for the channel. And if you guys want to see what this bar is, here's a little spoiler for you guys. This bar from Rogue Fitness, brand new, $100. $100. If you guys know Rope Fitness, usually their new bars start at around like $225, $250. $100. So if you guys want to see what is in this tube, you'll have to keep an eye out for the next video because I'm not going to be unboxing it in this one. So hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see, if you guys want to find out. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.